Let's make some chocolate covered Halloween pretzels. We're gonna start with the monsters. In a microwavable safe bowl, I'm going to add my candy melts. The brand doesn't really matter here. I usually prefer Wilton or the Sweet Tooth Fairy Meltables just because I can easily find them at Michael's. So what I'm gonna do is microwave for 30 second increments, mixing in between. And I'm going to add some coconut oil, which is optional. I just find that it helps to really thin out the candy melts. And then you're going to stick the pretzel in, mix it around with a fork, and then you just want to do this shaking motion to get the excess off. Then I'm going to transfer it to a baking sheet that's been lined with parchment paper. Something to remember is that candy melts are not real chocolate, so they will dry really quickly, and if you just let them sit out, then the eyes are not going to stick on. And then I'm just going to repeat the process for the orange color. I think that there are a lot of other colors that you can use too that would look really cute, like a rural blue or a purple or even a dark green. If you don't want to use coconut oil, you can also use these Easy Thins by Wilton. They're just these chips that you add into your candy melts when they're warm, and then you're going to just mix it all together. And you want to make sure that you mix until there are no lumps left because anything you dip is going to show those lumps. I don't really prefer one or the other, it just depends on what I have on hand. Now that the monsters are done, I'm just going to set them aside so they can dry. For the next design, we are going to make some cute little pumpkins. So what I'm doing is I'm only going to dip them one time. And because of that, you're going to be able to see those holes in the pretzels. And I'm just doing this for the sake of being simple and easy. But if you want it to look more pumpkin-like and less pretzel-like, then let the first coat dry for a little bit and then dip it again. And that second coat is going to just fill in the holes. And then you want to add a little green M&M on top for the stem and then just set these aside to dry. For the next design, I'm going to make some mummies and I'm going to be using almond bark for these. I just wanted to show you guys another alternative. You can use white chocolate and you can use real chocolate for these designs, but it's just harder to work with. And if you don't temper the chocolate, then oftentimes it dries down and it does not look shiny and it doesn't look very good. So that's why candy melts are a great substitute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to dip them in just like how I did for all the other designs and then you want to let these fully dry. Because we're going to be just adding more chocolate on top, if they're not fully dry, then the chocolate is just going to melt all together. With a knife or spoon, you want to dip it into the melted almond bark and then just go over the tops of the pretzels back and forth. Before that dries down, you want to make sure to press on your edible candy eyes. For this design, I went with the medium sized eyes. For the final design, we're just going to decorate some pretzel rods. So I reheated the almond bark and I poured it into a tall glass and then I added some sprinkles into another tall glass. You're going to dip in the pretzel rod and you want to hold the glass at an angle and turn the pretzel rod so that all the sides get covered. And then you want to wait maybe about 10-15 seconds and then you're going to dip in the pretzel into the sprinkles and the same thing. You want to tilt the glass and then turn it to try to cover all the sides. And you can really do so many different designs with this. I also went ahead and melted some chocolate and then I added some sprinkles. I just think this is such a cute idea for school, for class, for parties. It's really easy and it always turns out cute. Happy Halloween and thanks for watching.